Welcome back, Magma Munchers. It's your favorite marketable plushie, Magma. I'm going to show you how you can enable potato mode. Most textures are just a single color. The trees are connected by Bluetooth. And my Magma magic is just a PNG. Think fast, chuckle nuts! One -na 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 -na. This is what the game normally looks like. Everything is textured. You can toggle between high and low texture quality, but it doesn't make much of a difference as everything is still textured. You can also see that my FPS is capped at the default of 60. There are two ways that allow you to remove most of your textures and set your own custom FPS cap. The first method doesn't involve you installing any third-party programs. Instead, you manually add your own custom Roblox client settings. The second method does involve you installing a third-party program but it makes it much easier to customize your Roblox installation. Beginning with the first method, go to this GitHub repo, it will be linked in the description below and in the pinned comment. Click code, click download zip, make sure you save it. Since it's a zip file, you're going to need to decompress it. Once that's done, in your search bar, search for Roblox. If you're like me and you have the Microsoft Store version of Roblox, this will appear as Roblox. We're interested in the Roblox Player, which is the web-installed version of Roblox. Right-click Roblox Player, click Open File Location, right-click the Roblox Player shortcut, click on Open File Location. You're now in the Roblox installation directory. Go back to the previous folder we downloaded and extracted. Go through it until you see Client Settings, copy it, Go back to the Roblox installation directory and paste it there. And that's it. But I would highly recommend you go into the folder, open up clientappsettings.json with a text editor of your choice. Now I would highly recommend you change this value to your monitor's refresh rate. Mine is 180. This lets you change what your Roblox frame rate is capped at. If you want to uncap it, just set it to a really high number. I wouldn't recommend this as this can stress out your hardware components, especially if you're on a laptop, and it can make your Roblox engine a little bit quirky like the animatronics at night. If you ever want to revert these changes, just go back to your Roblox installation directory and delete client settings. It's as simple as that, but unfortunately each time Roblox updates, you're going to need to redo all of these steps again, as Roblox wipes the client settings folder each time it updates. On to method 2, we're gonna install Blockstrap which makes it extremely convenient to manage fast flags and customize our Roblox installation. Head to this GitHub page, it will be linked in the description and in the pinned comment. Click on latest release of Blockstrap, download the executable file, make sure you save it, install it like you would any other program, hit install, wait a little bit, hit install again. Once it's installed, it might automatically open Roblox, just close it. The Blockstrap menu should also be open. If it isn't, just search for Blockstrap, then click on Blockstrap menu. Now click on Fast Flags, click on Fast Flag Editor. Now head over to this page, it will be linked in the description and in the pinned comment. Click on Client Settings, then click on Client App Settings.json. Click this button to copy the raw file. Go back to the Blockstrap menu, click on Import JSON, paste it, then press OK. If this menu pops up, click yes, then press save. And that's it. Much simpler and convenient. Blockstrap is a bootstrapper, meaning it'll run Roblox for you and make sure that your custom Roblox settings always take effect, even when Roblox updates. Blockstrap also gives a nice interface for you to modify your Roblox settings. Check out what it has to offer. I can use the old def sound, I can change my cursor, I can apply a custom font. If you use Discord, Go to Integrations, you can toggle on and off your custom Discord rich presence. I would highly recommend you turn off Allow Activity Joining though. In the Fast Flags menu, make sure you have the preferred lighting technology set to Voxel Phase 1, as this is more performant. I would also highly recommend you set the preferred Escape menu version to the latest. And as usual, if you make any changes, click Save. If you want to remove the Fast Flags, just go to Fast Flags. Fast Flags Editor, click on one of the flags, press Ctrl A on your keyboard, then press Delete Selected, then press Save for the changes to take effect. Once you load into the game, 
you can already see that certain things are looking a little bit different. If the textures haven't changed, make sure you change your texture quality from high to low. Now you can see that most textures are now a single color. Certain textures are unaffected. This only works for the original default Roblox textures. Look at that Dorito tree. These trees are just connected by Bluetooth. Since I set my FPS cap to 180, my FPS can actually go above 60 now. From my personal testing, this has improved the overall performance of my game. However, this game is very trashly optimized, meaning after playing on a server for a little bit, your FPS does begin to lower as normal. Make sure to test out if this actually improves the performance on your machine. The results can be hit or miss. That being said, I find playing on potato mode to be advantageous. You can see that I can see through the trees, so anybody hiding inside them, I can easily spot and catch out. It's currently nighttime and normally it would be dark as hell, but the textures seem to brighten up the place, making it much easier to spot other players. The only disadvantage of running the game in potato mode is if you go into a tunnel like this. Since everything is one solid color, it can make it hard to navigate at times, especially if you're trying to go and find the Whispering Cavern secret. Alright, that's going to be all for this video. Make sure to like, comment, share and subscribe. Have a wonderful rest of your day, my fellow Magma Munchers. Renew.